So this was actually something that's known as a crossover trial, but it will sort of still illustrate the same thing. A crossover trial is when two or more treatments are given to the same patients or animals or whatever, but in different orders. So just in case there's an advantage of you know, one coming first or not. So in this study, two treatments were given to all patients, but in different orders. And the objective was to lower blood pressure. So the outcome here is diastolic blood pressure. This is just a sort of a list of the values of diastolic blood pressure that were observed. And the main thing you'll notice about this list is that um, patient five dropped out of the study after period one, so we don't have an observation on treatment B. So you hopefully immediately see if you tried doing a paired T test on that, you'd lose the information on patient five. I tried fitting two models to this, the general linear model that would be sort of similar to a paired T test, except that we can now in crossover studies, you want to take account of the period effect, what order the patients received the treatment in, but that's not a particular interest here. And we'll fit a mixed model as well, where instead of fitting patients as fixed effects, um, patients are fitted as random effects. And the variance components for the residual, that's the variation within the patients, is very similar between the two models. And we've got a lot of variability, not surprisingly, between these values on the individual patients. So some patients, such as patient six, tend to have a much higher blood pressure than other patients overall. So we've got a large variance component there. And then the thing we're really interested in is the treatment difference and its standard error. And this is a bit different between the models because we've, actually, we've taken into account that patient five, that data isn't lost on patient five who only had an observation on treatment A. And we've gained a little bit in that the standard error is a bit smaller in the mixed model. So it's a bit more sensitive because it's used a little bit more information. So hopefully that sort of illustrates if you're in that situation where you've got, you know, you're comparing within a unit here within a patient and it could be within an animal and you've got missing data, then you can recover some information and get some more sensitive analysis.